Welcome to an Epson SureColor F2000 video tutorial on selecting the best platen height for imaging a garment. In this video, I will provide the fundamental process used to establish and set the proper platen height regardless of garment type. In selecting the platen height, we are looking to achieve three primary goals. First is to maximize print quality. Next is to minimize ink mist in order to keep the printer operating effectively. And last is to reduce potential platen height errors that could lead to a waste garment. Finally, toward the end of the video, I will show how to remove the platen height indicator ring to use the 4 by 4 inch sleeve platen, in addition to being able to handle combined garment and padding thicknesses up to 0.98 inches. Let's start by covering the printer's components we will be working with. First is the platen, then we have the platen hoop. The hoop's purpose is to prevent a garment from moving into the print head path. Then there is the movable platen base and the movable base control panel button. Under the platen is the black height fixing lever. Rotate backwards to loosen, forwards to tighten. Next is the gray height adjustment lever, which is currently at the top position P, which stands for paper. The P position is used exclusively to do nozzle checks and make status sheet and job log prints. Each adjustment increment lowers the platen by one millimeter. In the default range with the height indicator ring installed, the platen can be lowered up to 8 millimeters, or about a third of an inch. Now let's get started on finding the best platen height for a t-shirt. I'm going to take you through this in detail. The actual process should take no more than a minute or two, and once you're done, you will know your setting for this type of garment, and there's no need to repeat it. With my starting platen height position set back at 1, I can start my test. I am loading a pressed t-shirt with both sides on the surface of the platen and making sure at this point it's just the flat fabric covering the platen and no seams, collars, or other raised areas. With the hoop in place, I'll press the movable base button to perform a platen height check. As the garment moves into the printer, an LED beam is scanning its surface, and if anything breaks this beam, it is too close to the print head, and a platen height error will display on the LCD panel. In order to remedy the height error, I need to lower the platen. I'll press the movable base button to bring the platen back out, reach under and loosen the fixing lever, adjust the platen height position one stop down to two, tighten the lever, and retest the height. I now get a ready display on the control panel. I've now determined that two, the first height to achieve a ready, is the minimum platen height for this t-shirt. It's important to remember that two was obtained against a perfectly flat garment surface. This is a V-neck tee, so what would happen if I needed to image an upper chest logo high on the tee that would require the collar to be on the platen surface? A reasonable expectation if I stay on position two is for the raised collar to cause a platen height error. To remedy this, I will need to lower the platen to three and retest. At position three, the shirt and collar pass the height test, and I can image my shirt. The actual numbers are relative to the garment in use and how it's loaded. If I sleeve a heavy sweatshirt on the platen by placing only one side of the garment on top, the first setting to pass is a 4. This makes sense as the sweatshirt is thicker than a T. So for this sweatshirt garment, a platen height setting of 4 or 5 is appropriate. So let's look deeper into the pros and cons of imaging at the first ready height versus one stop down. For the first ready position, the two pros are image quality and minimal ink mist. The cons are, first, a risk of ink droplets on your garment caused by fabric fibers striking the printhead due to the minimal gap. This can be avoided by pressing all garments before imaging or dropping the platen height. Next is a platen height error in the middle of imaging a shirt that requires two passes to complete. This can lead to a waste shirt as attempting to fix any garment swelling under ink load would alter the registration of the next pass. Lastly, this position cannot accommodate any slightly raised areas, collars, or seams on the garment. Now let's take a look at one stop down. A pro is comparable image quality to the platen at the minimum gap ready position. This is where the placement accuracy and dot shape consistency of the Precision Core TFP printhead used in the SureColor F2000 shines. There's also very little risk of ink drops, a vastly reduced risk of platen height errors in between passes, and finally this setting can accommodate a thin collar or seam. The only con is a slight but acceptable increase in ink mist. 
Since Ink Mist is the only real con of running it one stop down, let's take a deeper look. As the graph illustrates from left to right, at the first ready I have my benchmark for Mist. This is normal as there is always going to be Ink Mist generated in the DTG printing process. At one stop down, there will be a little additional Ink Mist, still within an acceptable range and manageable by the printer's replaceable air filter. At two or more stops down, there is a reason for concern. The ink mist becomes exponentially more severe and platen height settings in this range should be avoided. If you have a garment that requires adjustment outside the standard 8 stop range, or you need to use the optional sleeve platen, you'll need to follow this next procedure in order to increase the platen height's maximum range. In order to increase the height range, I need to remove the platen height indicator ring. To make this easier to see, I will do this with the assembly removed from the printer. Loosen the platen fixing lever and set the height to position 7 or 8. Then remove the screw that secures the parallel adjustment plate. This plate is a precision piece of engineering, so please handle it with care. Lift up the adjustment plate and set it aside. Now remove the three screws inside the height adjustment lever. Remove the height adjustment lever and then the platen ring indicator. Set the indicator ring and screws aside in a safe place and reassemble in reverse order without them. Reinstall the gray height adjustment ring, then the parallel adjustment plate, followed by the original platen or optional sleeve platen. Adjust platen height according to the previous procedure of finding the first ready, but now without the height indicator for guidance. I simply could have said at the beginning of the video to use platen height 3 for all t-shirts but it's far better to provide a full explanation at how I arrived at that conclusion. Having now gone through it, you should know the correct process to select the proper platen height for any garment. Please be sure to view the video on print head alignment and using the head offset adjustment to get the absolute best quality from your printer. Now go make some amazing shirts on your Epson Shirtcolor F2000.